Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as a number of senior officials. During the meeting, a number of local affair topics aimed at increasing development were discussed. His Majesty the King affirmed the necessity to direct all efforts and uh, potentialities to, to continue the march of comprehensive development. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for their effort to develop the government work system. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 27 of 2018 transferring the Director of Information and Follow-up in the Southern Governorate, Salah Muhammad Jihab, to become Director of Traffic Culture Directorate in the General Directorate of Traffic at the Ministry of Interior, effective from the date of Edict issuance. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received in Arabia Palace today the Director General of the King Fahad Causeway General Organization, Engineer Fahad bin Mohammed Al Dawood, accompanied by the organization's Public Relations and Protocols Director Jamal bin Mohammed Yaqut. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the strong historic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, noting the geographical importance of the King Fahad Causeway, which linked the two brotherly kingdoms for decades. He noted the vital role of the causeway in developing trade and tourism between the two countries, commending the efforts and facilitating services provided by the general organization of the King Fahad Causeway and his executive administration, which resulted in this development. He also praised the international achievements of Saudi Arabia in various development fields and stressed its role in facing the challenges of the region. His Royal Highness was briefed by the Director General of the General Organization on the ongoing and upcoming developmental projects of the causeway and their effect on the traveling and trade movements. The Director General expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continued support to the causeway's projects to facilitate traveling between the two countries for visiting, tourism and trade purposes which contributes to strengthening the close brotherly relations between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received in Ghadibiya Palace today the Ambassador of Thailand to Bahrain, Thanis Na Songkhla, accompanied by the Deputy Ambassador of Thailand to Bahrain, Hada Ish Anok Fromau, on the occasion of the end of her term in Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister commended the strong relations between the two countries, noting the importance of exchanging visits between the officials of the two countries to develop bilateral cooperation at the economic, investment, trade and health level. His Royal Highness stressed the keenness of Bahrain to exchange expertise with Thailand to support the kingdom's projects that aim at developing medical services provided to citizens. He added that Bahraini-Thai relations continue to progress in all fields in light of the support given by the governments of both countries. His Royal Highness the Premier hailed friendly ties between the people of both countries and commended the contributions of the Thai community in various development fields. He also valued the role played by the Deputy Thai Ambassador during her tenure here in the Kingdom, which resulted in supporting cooperation and coordination between the two countries, wishing her success in her future duties. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the United Kingdom's Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Simon Martin at Rafa'a Palace. His Royal Highness and the Ambassador discussed the close ties between Bahrain and the United Kingdom across various areas and highlighted both countries' commitment to continue advancing bilateral cooperation. They also reviewed recent regional and international developments and stressed the importance of strengthening international efforts to counter common threats and reinforce regional stability.
The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletic Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated Bahraini youth on the occasion of the International Youth Day, expressing pride in the youth's energy and creativity which contributed to the effective participation in the comprehensive development process. His Highness Sheikh Khalid added that His Majesty the King has directed through his reform project to provide a suitable environment for the youth and to encourage them to participate in the sustainability of development. He stated that the government work led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince has focused on implementing programs aimed at enhancing the youth's role in building society through supporting and encouraging them to make achievements and initiatives. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to implement the directives of His Majesty the King. He also commended the efforts of the Ministry of Youth and Sports led by Hisham Mohammed al joder to launch youth programs and events, affirming that the efforts to prepare the youth and encourage them to gain skills and knowledge will continue. The Governor of the Southern Governorate, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, hailed the role of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in developing the sports and youth movement and in encouraging the youth to make international achievements. He also congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the occasion of International Youth Day, which coincides with August 12th. His Highness uh, Sheikh Khalifa highlighted His Highness's honorable achievements which has promoted uh, the kingdom in many regional and international competitions he stressed that his highness is a model for Bahrain youth for his dedication and hard work for his country and for being the youth's first supporter through creating programs centers and events aimed to empower them The world today is marking International Youth Day, which is an important occasion to highlight the kingdom's efforts to empowering the young generation. The kingdom has provided the youth with the opportunity of political and civil participation, and the Bahrain youth now has an important role in achieving the aspirations of the future in line with the reform process that the kingdom is undertaking. For more this, on this issue, we are joined over the phone with the Director of Youth Activities at the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, Sheikh Amnira Bint Muhammad Al Khalifa. Hello, Sheikh Amnira. Hello. Can you please tell us how the Kingdom is celebrating International Youth Day and what Bahrain has achieved so far in terms of supporting youth? Uh, as you may have known, as you may already know, that today is the uh, we are celebrating the International Youth Day. Uh, along with uh, the rest of the world. So we are very excited and ecstatic at the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs to be celebrating this momentous day uh, for youth around the world. And we currently have many different projects and cha challenges in all of the centers of uh, the ministry uh, that currently tackle the issue that is for the International Day today, uh, which is basically uh, it's about safe spaces. So most of the, the centers that we have here uh, today are celebrating safe spaces by creating challenges for these youth to be able to design, even come up with ideas for what uh, safe spaces mean to them, uh, even come up with design with the ideas of what a space building would look like, uh, what a safe space would, would be, how it would feel like, is it sustainable. Uh, so all of these centers are currently celebrating the International Youth Day in their own way, and uh, we are very ecstatic, as I had said earlier, to be celebrating this um, occasion that we take uh, very dearly to our hearts because uh, it is about uh, youth it's, it is about youth empowerment it is about celebrating them on this special day magnificent work is done there thank you very much and we wish you continued success in your contribution to the kingdom's development process and that was Sheikh Amnira bint Muhammad Al Khalifa the director of youth activities at the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs